Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here, and I have a fun um, haul or open box video to share with you today. This stuff is from a place called Hallmark Scrapbook, and I'll have a link below to all of the products and also on my blog post. If you go to my blog, I have, um, this is the first time I've ever been to this website or used this website, and so I give a little review of my experience and the website, what I think about it and everything. So if you're interested in that, then head over to the coordinating blog post, which will also be linked below. So the first thing I wanted to share is I already had this stamp set. So it's the die set that I wanted to, to share with you. And you're going to be like, why do you have a Christmas stamp set? Well, the reason is because I, part of this video is going to be some of the new Lawn Fawn releases. And what they came out with was a stamp set. You see these little like sentiments here these say Merry Christmas and Ready Set Snow well they came out with a set that's all different ones for different occasions so that you can use this kind of shaker globe thing for any type of card so I've had the stamp set and I got this for like I, it was reduced like eight dollars or something like that a while back and they had the coordinating die set for a really good price now I'm a little bit I'm not sure about a couple of things because this die this stamp set has two die sets that go with it one is called the ready set snow die set and it has some sh sort of globe die cut and, or die and then a bunch of those these smaller images well i wasn't really interested in these smaller images because i want to use it for non-christmas things this is called the ready set snow shaker add-on so my understanding is that this is particularly to make shaker cards out of this image and that the other die set is to just die cut the images like normal I'm not sure I'm gonna have to play around with it and see but it looks like maybe that this one will cut the whole thing and then this one cuts like the inside piece this cuts like a, um, a background or a little like confetti and then this I believe cuts like this little hill you know to put in it I, I'm not sure like I said I'm gonna have to play with it and see but another thing I'm gonna do and start doing is I'm gonna have a follow-up to my open box videos which will be like showing you how I use the products and maybe not necessarily like a tutorial like step by step but just like some of the projects that I've made with them just so that you can see some of these things in action and I'm going to try to have that up either you know the same day as the open box video or within the next couple of days so that you can see them you know kind of consecutively and then decide if it's something that that you want okay I've talked for almost three minutes about this so I'm going to move on so this was the first thing this um, ready set snow shaker add-on and this is not new this came out in their like Christmas release the next things are just some kind of like tool things um, I got some of this 3m micro pour tape I see Jennifer McGuire use this all the time um, it's like a dollar fifty or something it's a really good price it's a nice thick roll and it's a very um, like washi tape it's like semi adhesive so that you can stick it onto paper and hold your dies in place when you run it through your die cut machine or anything like that so I got that and then I got um, some cardstock I got two packs of the Nina solar white in the 80 pound cardstock because I use this a lot I use it to make like my um organization for my ink pad colors and I use the Jennifer McGuire method for that um I just use it for a lot of different things and I have been out for a very long time I just always forget to order it or it's out of stock or I have to go to like a special online store just for the paper and like I don't want to pay shipping there's nothing else I need that was one of the great things I thought about Hallmark scrapbook is that they have the newest products plus they have some of your staples so that you can get it all in one place so I got two packs of this there's 25 sheets in each and I think it's $4.99 I also got a pack of the Nina Desert Storm cardstock this is just a craft cardstock it's 80 pound and I love this color this is my favorite color of craft because it's very cool toned it's looking warm on my ca on camera because of my lights but it is a very cool toned craft paper okay now all of the next things are from the newest lawn fawn release and I think that it technically releases tomorrow but they had them in stock so you know I'm not really sure so this is called donut worry which is so so cute it's a little pun it's one of the really small stamp sets and it has this adorable little donut and then donut worry be ha and then be happy in parentheses little exclamation point it has like 
four different smiley faces and then it also has some sprinkles that you could add to it and then it has a coordinating die and the die just looks like this the reason why i got the die is because it would be very very difficult to cut that or to you know fussy cut that circle out of the center i guess if you had a, a hole puncher that's that size you could do it but i don't know if i do so i got those i thought they would be fun and then this was just a I don't know. I thought it was really cute. This is called Lovable Legends and it has just some really, really cute images on it. It has like a little um, Loch Ness Monster. I'm not sure what the name, this is like a Sasquatch, I guess. I, I'm not sure what this is or what the name of it is. I guess it's Kraken. I don't know. Y'all are probably like yelling at me what it is. I should probably know, but I love that it has the little like Bigfoot, um, like footprints and it's, um, it says, you're a legend, what's crack it, and then, um, unbelievable. And it says, have, have, and, and then birthday. So you could say, have an unbelievable birthday, you're a legend, happy birthday, or something like that. I don't know. I just think it's really cute. It has a little birthday hat, some, like, bubbles and splashes and hearts and the little boat, um, then some trees. Just really cute. And then this is the coordinating die set, and this cuts, it looks like the sailboat, the trees, the footprints, the birthday hat, and then the three, um, like larger, oops, larger images. So I thought that was fun. Then this is the ready, set, shake. So this is what goes into the, um, like this part of the snow globe. So it says, shake up some fun, happy birthday, congratulations, many thanks, oh happy day, happy fall, and happy spring. And this is one of the like medium sized stamp sets. So Lawn Fawn has three sizes of stamp sets. This is the smallest, you know, medium and large. So it's like maybe three by four, four by, no, this is two by three, three by four, and four by six, something like that, around about. So that's all the stamp, the stamps and dies I got. I got some paper. I got the um, Let's Poke It in the Meadow. There are 40 sheets of paper on here. It's six by six, it is single sided. And I'll just look through it really quick. It has some really pretty colors. It has a nice yellow. It's a little bit brighter, I would say, than some of their other ones. So it's like a, a lime green. This really pretty aqua. And it has like little hearts, stripes, and maybe polka dots. This one's upside down, but black and white. I don't think they've had black before. Yeah, polka dots. Big polka dots and smaller polka dots. And then I think it repeats. So you get two of each sheet which is really cute so I'll show you just um to compare their other colors so they have the um what's Pokemon me which is like softer more pastel colors and then they have the um what's poke in the dark which is like was the fall colors this one is the Boca one that's different um that's different and then this one is like the original one which is my favorite I think I think I have like all of the paper pads and they had this one which is the beach side one so you can see in comparison to the other ones that it's they're much brighter so this was like medium toned very pastel you know dark rich colors and then this one so I think it's a really nice addition to the other paper pads they had available the other one they came out with is the Perfectly Plaid. There are 32 sheets in here. And what I like about this is that they have plaids both on the diagonal and also like forward facing, I guess. So you can see this plaid is angled and then this plaid is like square. So I'll kind of flip through and you get two of each design in this also. I love this one. That's, my, that's probably my favorite. It's just fun. You can create plaids with stamps and stuff, but... I'm not very good at creating like backgrounds on cards. I'm good at creating backgrounds, well, not say I'm good at, I enjoy creating backgrounds on layouts. Cards I have a harder time with because it's a smaller scale. Last two things. I'm super, <coughs> excuse me. I'm super excited about this. This is the Lawn Fundamentals Stamp Chamois, just add water. So this is basically going to, take the place of baby wipes or whatever you use to clean your stamps, the stamp scrubber or whatever it is. Um, I typically use baby wipes. I have a stamp cleaner, which I'll use if I'm doing a lot of stamping, but I don't, I never drag it out unless I'm stamping a whole bunch because it's just kind of a pain. This 
one of what I am most excited is that it's lint free. So it's not going to leave. You know how you get the little like pieces of the baby wipe, like little lint pieces on your stamp. And then when you go to stamp, it like get, it just, it's yucky. So this comes like in a sealed package. And I think it, it's very, very, very flexible. They have a video on their website talking about it. Excuse the crinkling. But it's my understanding that it will dry out and get like a little bit crunchy. And if it dries out, you just run it under water. So, oh my gosh, it feels so cool. It's like, it's definitely wet to the touch, like damp. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then the last thing is that Lawn Fawn came out with their own cardstock, like colored cardstock. This is the only option I saw on the website. They po could possibly have different options now, but... Um, I saw a video on Lawn Fawn's YouTube channel where they have like um, packs of each color. So I think there's 10 colors maybe and there's 10 sheets in each pack. So if you if there's just one color you're interested in, then you could get that. I just wanted to try it out. So I got the, um, the rainbow. So these are all the colors. And also if you watch the video, they talk about how some of these colors don't have coordinating dyes. I mean, dyes, inks but I think they will eventually. So, but some of them do. So I'm just going to like kind of lay them out and show you. Um, I could, I don't have, I have two Lawn Fawn inks or three. I have the black licorice, which is this color. Um, so I don't know the names of all of their inks or anything. And I'm not exactly sure which ones coordinate and which ones don't, but I'm just going to put them out there for you to see. So these are kind of the blues and purples. And then I think that's called Noble Fur. And then there's a, that. Yeah, a yellow, an orange, a pink, and a red. So very primary, very primary colors. There's not a lot of soft colors. And it appears to be pretty good cardstock. It's very smooth. It's a 100 pound weight. Um, it doesn't really feel like a 100 pound weight to me. It feels a little bit thinner than that. Um, let me compare it to a piece of this Nina that's 80 pound, just, to, just for the sake of doing so. Um, cause I, I 110 pound cardstock, like you can, you can touch 110 pound cardstock and know right away that's 110 pounds. So I guess it's a little, it's a little bit stiffer than the 80. So yeah, hundred pounds. It's just an odd weight. I don't think I have any hundred pound cardstock. I have like 80 or 110 or 60, but anyways, so that is everything. Thanks guys so much for watching. Like I said, they will, there will be links below to all the products and links on my blog. So you can check everything out. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all real soon.